called Everything. It's on the PS4. Although I haven't played the game or read the reviews, it looks like it's fun if you like transcending consciousness. It does not seem to feature classes to grinding, as is common in a lot of games of this time period, and was created by artist David O'Reilly. The Steam release date is next month on the same day, in the year 2017. I'm going to jump in now and let's see uh, let's see what we can find in everything. Uh, I'm gonna go lowercase just for fun. I O and N. I honestly don't know what's gonna happen. Right after I press uh, done, I've been holding out. I've been hoping, uh, hoping it'll be something interesting. And uh, that seems about right. Seems just about right. So start it up. I just gotta use L to move and the right joystick to control the view. X to think, where did this come from? I don't know what it is. I like that I, I can press a button to think though. I guess just the one time. There we go. I'd have to guess, uh, yes. It is the beginning. Oof. X to think, how far do I need to get? I've been asking that question a lot recently. Honestly, uh, I don't know if I need to really go anywhere, you know? Like where is there to go in this vast sea of existence? I feel like I don't really get anywhere and just keep pushing for it. It's exhausting. Oh. oh. Looks like I'm a bear. What's that? Kind of jack. Get it. <laughs> get, the, get the jack. Pick it up. It's kind of hard to uh, drive this bear. It's a little harder than I thought it would be. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this. <laughs> Jack. Look at how exhausted this bear already is. I can't even really tell what that is. Is that like a, a monkey? A baboon or something? Yeah. It's a baboon. Wow. Ah. This is fantastic. It's got a wide turning it turning radius. That's fair. Oh, that thought icon disappeared. Here's another one. And here is some bears.
Important over here. <laughs> oh, hi, Gold Vision. You found me finally. I've been waiting for you for such a long time. This one I thought had the uh, icon. Look out for others with this. Everything icon. We're here to show you what you're able to do and help you navigate everything. Good luck. I think it's just a little, little too uh, warm. Hey, Mario. And through those peacocks. Singing helps things find or avoid one another. It deepens bonds between some things and separates others. It's how things announce their existence. So, sing, sing all day long. I want to hear what you sound like, and so does everyone else. If other things hear you, they might sing back. Sing upside down. And I'll just kind of stop. <clears throat> I think I can sing at that jack. This is not happening. at the rocks. I guess not. I can't tell if I'm supposed to be really goal oriented right now. I got a thought tree over there, but I didn't really want to accomplish anything. I didn't really want to be pushed to pull anything off right now. I'm actually really enjoying just speed driving this bear. It's strangely rewarding, but I can't just leave that thought train in the past. That's next to think. And maybe one day I'll be able. The tree wants to join my adventure. Even though I, I just explicitly explained that I didn't want one, but I guess <clears throat> that's probably how it goes. You probably don't adventure by choice. It's like an involuntary thing. He's thinking bears over here. Are those clouds getting bigger? I'm just getting closer. <laughs> they're not. They're not getting bigger. Huh? It's kind of a tree dis. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. I guess I'll keep my ego in a uh, keep my ego in check. All right. 
Hey, how far back do you think brown bears go? <clears throat> I know I always feel like it, but you took trillions of generations of brown bears getting mixed up all the way back to forever. It's incredible you made it through and finally arrived here. The other brown bears around here are reflectations. <laughs> Sorry, reflections of you from back then. I don't think reflectations is a word. But I like it. Shut their own dreams. And as you meet other brown bears, you will sometimes feel inseparable from them. Mm -hmm. Find where you really start and end is up to you. other bears at. <clears throat> there. There they are. Yes. Let's get them all. I don't know why. I guess just to, uh, to join. Just to work on our dreams together. Gotta get those guys over there. Over time, you might find there's no right or wrong path to take here. As you explore, you might feel that parts of you need to go in their own direction because you can't control everything at once. At least not yet. Try letting go of a few things. Huh. <laughs> this all makes sense. Don't give up. Keep looking and you'll find it. Rough. But I need some inspiration right now. Strength. Bear strength. Oh. 
I just wanted to stand up. Nor normal. Stand, stand up. Well, I guess bears don't. Bears don't stand up. Normal. Actually, if you don't direct them, it just kind of goes. His own agenda. I'm gonna just watch. Did you just stop to look at me? I'm yeah, I'm not pressing any I'm not pressing any controls right now. I think he's going for that uh that marker up there. This game is called Everything. And it just came out on PS4 today. I have a compulsion to uh, to pick up the controller again. Oh, <laughs> maybe not. I found a I found a bear friend. I'll just see it in the grass. I didn't. I picked up the controller, but I haven't pressed anything yet because of the growl. I'll give him a little bit longer. I mean, there's no destination. I don't see any health bars or hunger bars stand upside down bars it <laughs> it's strange I, I I don't want to take take control back from him because I don't I don't have a destination better than wherever he's going that's also an assumption I don't know if this is a male bear or female they all seem the same size I am. I'm going in though. I'm gonna grab up these other bears, these upside down ones. Yeah. I feel. I think it's didn't like it. All right, I lose him. There was a thought though, right? I guess it's gone now. Think at the tree. There. Remember this place and remember what you are. Keep it in mind as you go beyond here. You might need to find a way back to it. Oh, I'm gonna need a. Remember this place? It's just trees. A field. I, uh, I've been, I want to, oh, maybe I can growl at it or something, or join it. It's, uh, <laughs> oh, I think it's like a house for rabbits, maybe. Is that a house for rabbits?
can zoom in. Get a better uh, point of view. Hey. Here comes the sun, I shouldn't complain. Go fast soon enough. It's a very bare thought. Uh, there's one of those, yes. The super thoughts over here. Growl on the go. Super thought. Hey, what do you make of all the small things around here? All the plants and little creatures? Are they here for you or here for them? It's hard to imagine that everything could be here for each other because you can only see things from a brown bear's perspective, just as I can only see from a beach's perspective. But if you want to, you can always see things from a little thing's point of view. Try it. Descend. Get close to something small, hold down L2, select using L and R, release L2 to enter. Huh. Something small. Something small. On the grass now. Grass is pretty small. I'm a grass clump. <laughs> Bonding info. Ad. Oh, can grass growl? That's a uh, grass singing. Oh, look at this guy. That's a pretty intense plan right there. Having grass thoughts. Something a little smaller. What am I? Am I more grass? Whoa. Can I be that thing? That flying thing? Or was it? Get up there. Oh, it's too it's, it's too high. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Oh, we got a thought. Come on. Hi friend, it looks like you've seen things from a little thing's point of view. Now you might be wondering what it's like to see things from the other way around. To see things from a bigger thing's point of view? Out of all the points of view you find, which one is the right one? To ascend, get close to something big, hold down R2. That's why I couldn't get up to the birds. Yep. Alright. <clears throat> so you gotta you gotta bond a little bit. So you can uh you can move up. I gotta get this dragonfly here, come on. Uh all right, wild wheat. I can send. Yes, this one. Nope. Oh, wild wheat. Is it? Oh, there we go. Yep, get him. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, you could be a glow bug? Firefly, depending on your... <laughs> well, that's just fun. Wow. That one looks huge. There's something thinking down there. So you get you have to land a uh, oh wow it's like a what's that 
Repetition is the only form of permanence I am capable of. Repetition is the only form of permanence I am capable of. Repetition is the only... Okay, you've... That one before. I don't know. I could, I could probably be a glow bug for a while. I keep saying glow bug. I'm sorry, I mean, um... Firefly. Can I get up there? Flight controls are, uh, they're pretty non-specific. Interesting. I didn't know insects could really listen. Now that I know you can, I'll be much quieter around here. I don't like, <laughs> it makes me uncomfortable. Just a little bit. Got a target over there. I find it a little difficult to say what the subject matter of this seminar is going to be because it's too fundamental to give it a title. I'm going to talk about what there is. Now, the first thing though uh, that we have to do is to get our perspectives with some background about the basic ideas which influence our everyday common sense, our fundamental notions about what life is about. Ideas of the world which are built into the very nature of the language we use and of our ideas of logic and of what makes sense altogether. And these basic ideas I call myth, not using the word myth to mean simply something untrue, but to use the word myth in a more powerful sense. A myth is an image in terms of which we try to make sense of the world. Am I too far away? You got it. Oh, get him. There we go. I had to. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I had to. Oh, there's that other butterfly right there, right? It's a strange butterfly sound. I guess they gotta make some kind of sound. That was Alan Watts, by the way. I'm assuming he narrates a variety of uh, things in this game. And now I know what that target is. This grass one thing or millions of things. Who's thinking that? This guy? This guy. Join up with these guys. I'm total pollen right now. Spring starts up and I gotta be pollen. Grab some more. <laughs> That's pollen love right there. Xenophobia. Right and wrong, here and there, now and then. 
What was the movie? Dance with me. Who's saying that? I'll dance. What is that? There's nothing smaller than you. You, as a human being, you grow out of this physical universe in just exactly the same way that an apple grows off an apple tree. So let's say the tree which grows apples is a tree which apples, using apple as a verb. And a world in which human beings arrive is a world that peoples. And so the existence of people is symptomatic of the kind of universe we live in. Just as hair on a head is symptomatic of what's going on in the organism. But we have been brought up not to feel that we belong in the world. So our popular speech reflects it. We say, I came into this world. You didn't. You came out of it. We say, face facts. We talk about encounters with reality. As if it was a head-on meeting of completely alien agencies. And the average person has the sensation that he is a somewhat that exists inside a bag of skin. A center of consciousness which looks out at this thing and what the hell is it going to do to me? Uh, I recognize you. You kind of look like me and I've uh, seen myself in a mirror. And uh, you, you look like you might be people. <laughs> so maybe you're intelligent, maybe you can love too. And uh, maybe perhaps you're all right. Some of you are anyway. You've got the right color of skin or you have the right religion or whatever it is, you're okay. But there are all those people over in Asia, Africa, and they may not really be people. When you want to destroy someone, you always define them as unpeople. Whoa. What are these guys? Daisy pollen. Dang. I just got to 26% pollen. It's pretty good. I'm <laughs> dirt. Just a, uh, just a particle of dirt. The butterfly was. The grass is bigger than a butterfly, I guess. Life mostly involves going out and tangling yourself with others. But I want to show you another way of getting mixed up. A very beautiful thing you can do, and that's dancing. To dance is to move in a pattern and not towards anywhere in particular. To make yourself the destination and to enjoy never quite arriving. Dancing always takes two, but the more the merrier. Everything dances a little differently, so try doing it with different things. Join with two or more things. Probably unlikely that this evening you thought um, you would watch grass dance or a, a new rough grass be born or to ascend, ascend beyond a 
grass itself. There you go. That's how uh that's how baby trees are made. Baby anythings. You just there's a lot of dancing. <clears throat> and then the circle in the middle of the screen fills up to the to the all the way and then you press X. It's the whole uh birds and the bees conversation wrapped up in Yeah. Twenty seconds. Alright, where's my tree army going? Coming for this buck over here. <laughs> I don't know what else I expected. But now I am a rock large. This is how uh, baby rocks are made. <laughs> baby large rocks, I'm sorry. And um, as the sun has uh, gone down, I think I'll leave you with these dancing rocks. Hope you enjoyed it. This game's called Everything. It's, um... It's something else. It's something else. And, uh... I'm not gonna say... I'm not gonna tell you what to think about it. You got to see what you can think about it. It's, it's different. It's different than, uh, what I'm used to. But it, I think it was exactly what I was looking for tonight. My name's Gold Vision. I'm from the future. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good night. <laughs>